All right, Shalom, Shalom, we'll give all praise to Abba Nawa, Yahweh, Bashem, Mashak, Yahweh, Shah. All praises to the Heavenly Father, in the name of the Heavenly Son, the most glorious Holy Spirit, the Bashem, and Karkadash. Peace and blessings to all the brothers and sisters baptized in this new covenant for the remission of sins, man. And today I just want to bring out a quick, quick uh, couple verses, man. Basically going into uh, women are the prize, man. Right, which I know a lot of people bug out. <laughs> and it's, you know, men say they're the prize. Women say they're the prize. But uh, to be honest, man, I got a few scriptures showing women are the prize, man. They are the reward of uh, the Lord, man. And the Lord, uh, flock you. He has given uh, women to his men as a reward, man. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I'm going to get into that. And this ain't no simp, nothing, none of that, man. This is just the truth of it, man. The Lord... Uh, created woman for man The Lord created woman for man So if woman wasn't the prize The Lord wouldn't have created the woman man Alright You'd be out here All man earth which Full of folly Okay So women are the prize man Thick beloved are the prize man The scripture says A man loveth nothing better man Alright Men love women And that's just the fact of it man now, I'm not telling you to worship women or nothing like that. No queen of heaven nonsense. Or, uh, like the scripture says, uh, uh, many has ran out their wits for women and all that. And I ain't saying that to be, you know, running out your wits for women, but you can love beautiful, righteous women, man. And, you know, even women that might not be righteous, you can love them too. Because what? You're teaching them this grace, man. Did not the Lord love a wicked uh woman that was caught in adultery and he showed her the new covenant and she came up out of that garbage so sometimes some people might be wicked and you can still show them love and the lord can and cause them to repent man the scripture says love covereth all sin man all right so the point is the lord created women for man bro that's the prize man you know the lord rewarded uh my beloved abijah with 14 wives man Okay, that was the beloved's reward for uh, uh, serving the Lord, man. <laughs> okay, let's get it. This Genesis 2 and 18. And the Lord God said, it is not good that a man should be alone, man. Why? Because a man is supposed to be with a woman, man. That's, that's the nature of it, man. All right. And why would the Lord say that? It's not. How would the Lord even know that? See that? That might be a little bit too high for a lot of beloveds. But, hey, <laughs> the beloved one said it's not good that a man should be alone. Was not we made in the Lord's image? All right. So the Lord said that it ain't good, baby. You know what I'm saying? Why did he say that, man? Because when you don't have a woman, you, you go up and down weeping. Like the scripture says, he that has no wife shall go up and down weeping, man. Right? I remember when I didn't have no woman, man, for like two years, man. I was, I was, I was, I was ready, baby. <laughs> I was, I was ready, baby. And you know what I'm saying? I was planting seeds beyond measure trying to find a wife, man. Because, uh, you know, it's, you know, being lonely, it, it, you know, it's okay for a certain times. But then there's times you need to, you know, be with your kind, man. Like every, all the creatures cleaveth to their kind, man. You know, the female wolf go with the male wolf. The female lion, she go with the male lion. The female tiger, she goes with the, the male tiger, man. So, you know, that's how it's supposed to be, man. All right? We're supposed to uh, reproduce, man. Be fruitful and multiply. The Lord never said be alone and be single, man. That's not in the scriptures at all, man. He never said be alone and be single. See that? This world that got so damn wicked... People don't even want to be fruitful and multiply, and they don't even want help meets. They don't want wives. They just want to be alone, be single. You know, get on Pornhub and drink a beer. Come on, man. The Lord didn't say get on Pornhub and drink a beer, man. He said, I will make a help meet for you, man. Okay? <laughs> we supposed to have wives and ashas in this thing, man. Because that's the Lord's will. Otherwise, it wouldn't be in the scriptures, man. Right? But what? 
you do have what beloveds that will be eunuchs and that won't have uh women like that right which uh that's really not how it's supposed to be though man the scripture says be fruitful and multiply man you know but some people uh are wounded in the members and can't have children man then there's others that don't want to have children because the world's so damn wicked and they can't trust nobody then there's others that want want to have uh, wives and children but they just haven't came across the right one yet man you know what I'm saying? But the Lord's will was that I'm going to make a, a, a help me for you, man. You know, he didn't say, well, Adam, just be alone, you know, because the world's so damn evil. And, you know, don't deal with, with a woman, man. Don't have no children. All right. So women are the prize, man. All right. If women weren't what, but the prize, man, Adam, you should be a goddamn alone then, man. Just like a lot of you Negroes that say women ain't the prize. And, hey, be by your damn self, man. Beat your meat, bro. If if that's the case, all right. With some jakes, they'd rather just beat their meat because you know all the women in their neighborhood is, is whores, man. Which sometimes that that it do be kind of bad like that. It'd be a lot. It'd be way more whores than it is righteous women. I mean, I just seen it, man. It's not a lot of righteous women, but they do exist. But it's definitely more wickedness than it is righteousness on this earth, and everybody sh can tell that, man. It's evident. But, man, if you serve the Lord, man, he got them precious rubies for you, man. You just got to go find them, man. You know, a woman is, is, is your treasure, man. You know what I'm saying? The scripture says a, a good wife is, is a gift of the Lord, man. That's a, that's a ruby right there, baby. All right? So having a woman, man, is beautiful, man. Because I remember, man, when I was trying to do the single thing, man, you know, I I'll be I I can't do it because my body will be ready to start hitting hitting thotties, all type of stuff, bro. I have to have a wife, man, or I'm either be beating my meat like a maniac, or I'm gonna end up uh, dealing with random women, man. See, this is why it's not good for a man to be alone, man, because your body needs uh, a woman, man. You were made to have sex with a woman, man. All right. And not just to have sex with her, but to, to love her, take care of her, right? And and uh, you love her so she can be your helpmeet, man. And she can make you stronger, man. Because you make love to a woman, man. If you make love to a woman, man, you feel so good and, and so positive, bro. You be ready to go take over the world, man. I know the beloveds that know after they done got some kitty cat from their beloved. <laughs> you feel like, a, you, feel, you feel empowered, man. You feel like, <laughs> you feel like you ready to go Super Saiyan, man. Okay. Sometimes it boosts Jake's ego and they get wicked, man. But <laughs> but at the end of the day, you have a help meet, man. And that woman can do more than just have sex with you, man. With sex, that's a, that's you know a, a, a beautiful thing. But women can help even way more than just sex, man. Women know how to sew clothes, cook 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 good meals that you can't even cook, man. You know what I'm saying? Like my wife, bro, she cooks shit that I can't cook, bro. I just cannot do it. <laughs> and she whip it up, baby. <laughs> you know, sewing, fringes and shit. I don't know how to do that, but my wife do. Uh, you know, uh, retwisting hair and, you know, uh, uh, scratching your scalp, man. Have, have you ever had your wife scratch, scratch, it, scratch your scalp, man? You know how good that feels when you get your scalp scratched, man? Even the animals do it, like the, uh, the monkeys. The monkeys, they scratch the shit out of each other's scalps, man. You know, get you a thick beloved that's going to scratch your scalp, man. That shit feel good as hell, man. Okay? Not not hell as in wicked hell. You know how Jake... <laughs> not literal, beloved ones. Not literal hell, okay? It feel good, baby. Ha, ha, ha. All right? But you get your scalp, your scalp scratched by your woman or you get a massage by a thick beloved. Do you know how good it feels to get a, a massage by a thick beloved with hot oils? Have you ever had hot oils put, uh, poured on your, on your back and your buttocks and your beloved is lathering it in there and rubbing it in there, baby? With the candles lit and, you know, and some nice uh, meditation music on? That shit is, is, is the truth, bro. You can't tell me the Lord ain't the truth for creating uh, thick help meats like this for beloveds, man. The Lord love his man, bro. <laughs> okay. He said, I'm going to make a help meat for you, man. And there's a woman for beloveds, man. 
You know, right? You just got to believe, man. Believe and receive, man. Right? So, the Lord created help me, man. You know, women, they do a lot of things that man can't do, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right? And uh, Proverbs 31 go into that, man. So, women are the prize, man. The scriptures tell you in the pocket for a man go to work and do all this just so he can come and take care of his woman, man. Women, I mean, men, men, men get, take a lot of brothers. Some people really, uh, you know, what made brothers want to take care of themselves is women, man. Brothers want to, you know, look nice for what? A woman, man. Which you should want to look nice for yourself as well. You know what I'm saying? First and foremost. But a lot of people have done it just so they can, they can get a woman, man. Which ain't nothing wrong with that, man. You should want to look nice, man. But, uh, you know, that shows you, man, women are the prize, man. Right? Did not the scripture speak about uh, uh, those that have forsaken wife shall receive a hundredfold in the kingdom? <coughs> That's a prize, man. The scripture talking about a women uh, can pass a man and all that, man. That's a prize, baby. All right? The Lord said he, uh, he made a help me for, for his man. Right? I don't got more scriptures, man. So let's keep it going. Proverbs chapter 12, verse 2. A good man obtaining favor of the Lord. See that? You get that, that favor, man. And we're going to go into Proverbs uh, 18 and 22. And he tells you what was one of those favors that the Lord will give you, man. Proverbs 18 and 22. Whoso findeth. See, you got to findeth, man. This is the thing, man. Some, some beloveds want shit to just pop up in their lap, man. No, it don't work like that. It says you got to find it. You got to find your thick beloved, man. Because it's like treasure. Treasure you, treasure just doesn't just appear in your lap. Wow, treasure. No, treasure is something you got to search for because it's more valuable, man. All right? So you do got to put in some work in this thing, man. You know what I'm saying? You got to find your beloved, man. And that's manly. All right, it says, whoso find it. So you have to find her, man. That's treasure, that's a gift. That's a reward, that's the prize, man. Whoso findeth a wife, findeth a good thing, man. Notice the Lord said you have to find her, man. So you gotta go, go get her, man. Okay, you gotta be a go-getter in this thing, man. All right, the Lord said he's gonna make uh, help me for beloveds, but what, you gotta find her, baby. All right. And that's the Lord putting you in position to uh, find your thick beloved, man. You could just be going out on your daily uh, journey and, you know, dig with your ruby right there. You didn't, you know, you might go somewhere you never been, you know what I'm saying? Or whatever. You could go outside, go to a few stores and dig with, dig with your dig with shorty right there. Dig with shorty right there, man. <laughs> dig with shorty right there, man. <laughs> you didn't found her. You know, right? Introduce yourself to her, man. You know, exchange your number with her, man. Get to know her. The Lord done put you together, man. That's how this thing goes, man. All right? Because uh, a lot of beloveds probably miss out on a lot of women by being shy and uh, being antisocial, man. All right? When you're shy and antisocial, man, you're not going to really get too many women, man. Because the Lord says you got to find them, man. All right? This is a treasure, man. This is the gift of the Lord. You know what I'm saying? That's why in the scriptures, in the scriptures, it always say he took a wife. He took a wife. He took a wife. They when they when they took a wife, they found they treasure. Because you gotta find her, man. Alright. Or, or and the Lord to uh help you find your treasure, man. Sometimes you gotta ask the Lord to help you find that treasure, man. Lord guide my steps to find my treasure, man. All right, whoso findeth a wife, findeth a good thing, man. It's a good thing to have a, a wife, man. You know, being single in this world with no woman, bro, that's 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 okay. You know, when you're building yourself up and you're working on yourself, you're on your purpose. You know what I'm saying? You're getting your body in shape, getting your mental right, you're getting your pockets right. That's powerful. When and when you're single, when you're single and you're able to uh, serve the Lord. And you're putting all your energy into the Lord and you're putting all your energy into your, your body and your pockets, you're gonna be you're gonna be powerful. 
But, you know, as you're getting powerful and more powerful, you know, when you find your beloved, you're going to be in good position because you already been working on yourself. You already been loving yourself. So therefore, you can bring that love to that woman and she bring that love back to you, man. That's a beautiful thing, man. Right. But if you are looking for a wife and you're not working on yourself, man, you're not trying to get yourself better. You don't want to take care of yourself, love yourself. You don't want to, uh, you know, <laughs> basically take care of yourself, man. You know, if you don't want to take care of yourself, ain't no way you going to be wanting to take care of no damn woman, man. All right? Because <clears throat> that's why in the scriptures, what, you had to pay the father uh, the dowry for marriage, man. Because a woman is the prize, man. If the woman ain't the prize, why the hell you got to pay the dowry, man? All right? Because women are valuable, man. If they didn't have no value, you wouldn't have to pay for them in the uh, law. When you pay the father the dowry, man. Or if you dealing with damn uh, wicked women, man, you still got to spend money on them, man. So women are the prize, bro. And you want to get a righteous woman, all right? And you got to find her, man. And the Lord will help you find her, man. All right? And that woman be what? Your soulmate, man. Lovers need soulmates, man. You know what I'm saying? Because, uh, you know, that's, the, that's really the devil... One beloveds out here not to have no women, don't be fruitful, don't have no children. And a, a lot of times, some of the devil, he wants some people to just have daughters. He don't even want you to have a son, right? He don't want you to have a son because, what, he don't want your, your name to live on. Sometimes he want, he, some people to just die childless, man. You don't, you die childless, your, your, your root is cut off, baby. Your, your lineage is finished. You know what I'm saying? That's why the scriptures talk about uh, raising seed up to your brother, man. So your name don't be cut off, man. Because what, you're supposed to, uh, you're really supposed to have children, man. Have a wife, man. Reproduce. The animals, all the animals, they always reproducing, man. That cycle never stops, man. All right? So, uh, yeah, man. All praise to y'all, y'all shy, man. You know, women are the prize, man. And, you know, this is my opinion with scriptures. I mean, everybody entitled to their own opinion, but... My opinion with these scriptures, man. Hey, it's looking like women are the prize, baby. <laughs> you know, because I, I love me some thick, thick beloveds, man. Beautiful women, man. You know, and women come in all colors, uh, you know, shapes and sizes, man. You know, I love all women, man. I like, you know, I like skinny beloveds. I like thick beloveds. Uh, BBWs, yeah, damn it. <laughs> you know, fit women and shape women. I love all of them for real, bro. Because women can be beautiful in all ways, man. Right? And I love, man, I'm so bugged out, man. I love all women, bro. That's how bugged out I am. <laughs> but, uh, hey, you know, even all races of women are beautiful, man. You can find beauty in all races, man. You can find beauty in every tribe, bro. All the tribes, man. It's crazy, bro. The Lord is something else, man, with this with this uh, creation, man. All right? You want to obtain a favor of the Lord, man. That means the Lord puts you together, man. So, uh, Shalom. All right? This is uh, another verse, two verses to show that women are the prize. Uh, according to uh, what I'm seeing, man. You know, every, hey, this, you know, Jake can't tell you don't like women, man. <laughs> Unless you gay out here, okay? Unless you're a damn faggot, bro, okay? Numbers 31 and 18. Now, I'm not saying that they're the prize of eternal life or nothing like that. But I'm just saying a gift of the Lord while you're on this earth, man. All right? The Lord do got gifts that he give out on this earth, man, and rewards, man. The scripture says uh, a man shall be rewarded according to his own works, okay? So it's Numbers 31 and 18. But all the women, children... That have not known a man by lying with him, keep alive for yourselves, man. That was the prize, baby. This is Moses, baby. This the law. Okay, so this is all the spoils of war, man. Even uh, you know, when the Lord Yahweh Shai get everybody to you know bow down, his men, they're gonna have all the beloveds, man. Right, and we can have them now. The world was created for our sakes, man. So why can't you have a beloved, man? Come on now. You know, why can't you have the things you desire if the world was created for your sake, man? The scripture says, 
uh, there shall be not anybody of his man that shall not receive, uh, that shall receive a hundredfold in this world and the world to come manifold, man. So the Lord, the Lord said you can have things, man. You can have nice things, man. You can have, you know, things you want long as according to his will and you ain't uh, falling into sin and idolatry. You good. Okay. Number 31, 35 and 30 and 2000 persons and all the women that had not known man by lying with him, man. So the virgins, man, they got to keep them, bro. So this is the scriptures, man. Women are the prize, man. That's why even in Isaiah 4, it says seven women shall take hold of one man. You telling me that ain't no prize, bro? All right. Now, now these ratchet women that be saying that they the prize, they the devil, bro. That's the devil. Don't get it twisted. That's the damn devil. But I ain't talking about the ratchets. <laughs> I ain't talking about the ratchet daddies that's talking about they the prize, man. That ain't who I'm talking about. I'm talking about the, the beloveds, man, that the Lord got reserved for brothers, man. And like the scripture says,